Phillips has been beating herself in this first set. But boy, can she turn it around in a hurry. She got that from her watching her sister. And the nerves might creep into Emily Loire's left arm just a little bit. Pam, have you ever seen players who do better than Serena and Venus in hitting a really lousy shot, you know, and then coming back, and it's, it doesn't seem to have bothered them at all? 15 seconds. That's attitude, although, I, actually, I think in this first set, it's, it's, it's irritating Serena a little bit. I, I feel like Venus is still a little bit better at hitting that lousy second serve double fault and then stepping up and hitting the ace. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good serve. Two points away from the first set, Loire. this game <laughs> pressure serving for the set great point to get one back oh <laughs> wow. it's nice seeing venus out watching serena you know what, that game sends a message to Serena that Loa is not ready to win the set or the match. And so it wouldn't be surprising to see Serena just suddenly take charge of this match. Two double faults that last game from Loa. Safin's won the first set. Finalist last year, losing to Thomas Johansson. Big surprise. But... already today including Kim Kleisters very easily Chanda Rubin she'll pay Mary Pierce next Magdalena Maleva also now do you try just to allow Serena Williams to continue to self-destruct or do you try to some measure to take it to her well has got a lot of different shots but you know she can put a all sorts of looks on the ball, whether it's heavy slice or big topspin or flattening it out. And when your opponent is off, as uh, surely Serena is today, that is a terrific thing to keep doing so they don't get into any kind of real rhythmical groove on their shots. So I think Loa is playing it well. Thirty all. And in these last several games, Serena Williams is coming up with a lot of exhortations to herself which is good for her and a, a nice message to send over the other side of the net. She's not giving up this first set. And Loaz actually enjoyed stepping up and whacking some of the second serves of Serena. Let's see if she can be brave here at 3-5, 30-all. It's just tough to pick which way she's going and that left hander again mm. inside out forehand hit flat 30, 40. and we have a set point
Well, well, well. It was a combo, wasn't it? I mean, it was not a good set, obviously, but then Loire, when she needed to, did kind of take it to, to Serena. And she has won the first set against the top seed and clearly the world's best player. The 2003 ESPN Sports Almanac, available now. Third seed is in action, guys. Chris, no surprises over here. Oh! 14 she had, and she still could, consolidate with a second break. Then you could start talking about the third set now. A double break for Serena would do it, but that's not how things are. 40, 30 game point here for Loire. net a little bit more early in the second set coming in behind the big shots and why not I think Serena's frustration today is well there's a couple of things but she's playing from beyond the baseline a little more than she normally likes to because the has got so much that kind of spin and she's missing from there she's not used to she's used to hugging the court more than that and the other problem is Loa certainly does not hit like a Williams sister I mean, Serena basically largely practices with her sister or against a guy who hits a hard, nice, hard, clean ball. And that is not what she's getting today. Yeah, besides the topspin, also that backhand is a wicked slice. Got to it, but not able to get it over. And Loise on the board in a second. Down a break. Williams will serve two games to one when we come back. Wells number one lost the first set, 6 3. Rosdale here, Pam Shriver, Mary Carrillo calling this one, and it involves the world's best player. It's Serena Williams of the USA, Emily Loire of France, the number three player from France. Obviously, Serena number one, USA. In a big surprise, Loire won the first set. We're in the second now. Serena's got the break. She leads two games to one, and now 15 love. And she, Serena Williams, is coming to net with regularity now. Just was so out of sync in the first set. Jennifer Capriati, the number three seed in the tournament, losing last night. 49. Virginia Rizic in 79 was the number one seed and lost first round, but in 79, late 70s, early 80s, very few of the top players came down. Game Williams. 3 1 Serena. Williams leads three games to one. I actually remember who beat Virginia Rizic back in 79 here, and that was a friend of mine, Mary Sawyer. She used to actually belt the ball pretty good, if I remember. Sort of a wild She's Aussie. American. You know, I think it's worthwhile mentioning, and we've sort of, we've said it quite a few times already in these first two days, but the Australian Open is now a legitimate Grand Slam. Every top player, really, who is able-bodied comes down here. And 10, 20, 30 years ago, that just wasn't true. Fifteen love. I think a very good thing for Serena Williams to do, just so she doesn't lose her way here, is to just concentrate so hard on moving faster, being more alert out there with her feet. A lot of times players think their strokes are off when in fact they're just a little slow to the ball so they're not hitting it the way they want that was an absolute sitter again that's that's a hanging curve ball that Serena Williams normally snacks on I wonder if she got a lefty to serve to her I, I bet she didn't nope. but when you have a draw of a major come out you have about a week 
to get yourself ready. That's good serving from the lefty Luan. She holds on 3-2. Williams has the break in the second, but Luan's only one game away from leveling it. Luan won the first. The NBA on ESPN. The king of a Western empire. An emperor from the Far East. The Laker dynasty versus the Ming dynasty. First Bucks 6 or 7 Eastern on ESPN2. Then Lakers Rockets at 9.30. Friday on ESPN. Paul from Bayonne asks, how do pro bowlers handle the paparazzi? Mr. Couch, can I have your autograph, please? Yes, sir. <laughs> That's wonderful. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Take care of yourself. Get to know them. The ABC Masters, Sunday, 12.30 p.m. Eastern on ESPN. This is the first Grand Slam of the year. The Australian Open, Serena Williams is the top seed and certainly expected to win it. She lost the first set. She's leading 3-2 in the second. We invite you to join us on ESPN tomorrow afternoon at 2 Eastern. Andy Roddick's opening round match. And we'll be back on ESPN 2 tomorrow night at 10.30 Eastern time. We continue our exclusive live coverage of the second round of the Australian Open. We continue our coverage. We'll be here for every day of this year's first slam from Melbourne Park. Fifteen long. Sorry, I can't hear you. New balls? No, two games. Two games? Yeah, but she wanted new balls. I mean, I think, frankly, the, with the performance she's put in today, they should give her some. Seven and nine, almost. Look at that. Oh. <laughs> that's so good. That's again, that's a doubles, an assist to all of the doubles matches that Loa has played the last two weeks. Eight total, 1-1 one, one tournament. You get in this kind of situation all the time. That's right. We got to see some real fine lefty chicken wing forehands there. She drives right, he's nuts. Well, suddenly a possible break back. I mean, it's only 15.30, but Serena looked at two love and the way she jumped out. First five points of the second set that she was going to just sort of flick Loal away in the second set. Not the case. Very stubborn right now, the French woman. So do you. does everything well on this serve. Extends nicely, falls into the court beautifully, places it well. <laughs> Porsche radar gun at 103. That's kind of a sort of the middle of the road serve for Serena. So a little delicacy there, but she holds on and it's 4-2. Williams leads four games to two. Serena Williams uh, never before played Emily Lois before today. Although Venus has played and beaten Emily. And Serena was saying that she was going to ask Venus about this woman's game, but she's showing a lot of game today. I think it's gotten to the Love point with the sisters that Venus would have said, oh, well, she's a righty, and she hits it flat. And <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Probably not. Now it's it's Saffin down the break. Routine. In the second, he was down the break, and the first came back. Again, I just don't think Serena is moving well enough. And she's certainly not comfortable with the different kind of spins. You've mentioned it, Mary, and, and that was a one-two punch. It was a heavy forehand and then that yeah. weird floaty slice with no pace. And your contact points shift continually against a player like, like Emily Loire, like Patty Schneider, another talented lefty. You have to be alert to that. And 
extremely hard to get into a rhythm. And let's face it, that's something that Serena's used to being in the last year, is being in the zone, in a rhythm, having people hit the ball with a similar pace. making a very good point both of you and you talk about Lua it's not a matter of this is just all Serena Williams because Serena's going to have to win this match the way that Lua is playing she's she's not going to be given it Considering she's only getting in 48% Lua, she's doing a nice job on first and second serves. Look at that. Serena Williams will certainly come back. Second set, 4-3. She's got the break. But this is more than just a little quiz. This is a series. Williams at 15.30. She came back in that one. 15, one of the few points at net that Serena has not been able to win. It's because the approach shot was not good enough and it was to the big lefty forehand. Great points now. That was an excellent serve. Lua hitting the return. Slight miss hit, but it landed very close 15, to the baseline. 15. Heads up. Huge point. Come on! Is that Serena? Was that Lua? That was definitely Serena. And we're going to hear more of that. She is trying everything in her power to get herself fired up. Porsche radar gun, 95 miles an hour. Second serve break point. become the fourth commentator on this match before the end of this game. Champions all the time have to find ways to win matches when they're below their best. Capriati tried last night to do it. She could not. Serena's turn. That was the most verbal game I've ever heard. Sounds more like Monica Sellis every swing, doesn't she? 5-3 now <laughs> to Serena Williams as she comes back. Having faced two break right. points in that game. We should move this over to Vodafone Arena. <laughs> <laughs> there, there's more wattage in Serena's game, and she's in full voice, too. the string of points at six in a row where Serena was yelling at herself after every point. She decided she'd give the double fall to break. not a bad idea to no, throw in the drop shot as a change of play sometimes but uh, if you really need a point it's a very low percentage play on this court so from 1540 down on her serve is now love 30 two points away from winning the second set
somewhere of this great arena. She was almost in the tunnel hitting backhands from the forehand side of the court. <laughs> the one-hander, and then she almost makes it. 15-30. Got to work on that one-hander. Yeah. Running 80 miles an hour trying to hit a pinpoint winner. Oh, oh, boy. Sergio. So two points ago, that point was worth two points, because that's why Serena missed that easily. She's still so winded. Violation audible 17. Morning, Ms. Williams. Whoa. Now the, the, the service linesman got up and reported that to the chair umpire. That's what happened to Agassi in the fifth set against Rafter at Wimbledon a couple of years ago. Yeah, she used the big bad one. Quiet, please. Thank you. I'm surprised the chair didn't hear that. for the set. She struggled her last two serve games and she's in an ordinary mood. Williams leads five games to four. The Super Bowl is coming to San Diego and so is your two. Williams trying to level the match. See, that's a footwork issue there. I mean, I don't know whether she was hoping the return would float long, but she didn't even start to try and get into position until it was too late. Maybe she was thinking she could take that in the air. I don't know. She's very indecisive still on some shots. And again, she's playing someone who's got very good hands and is using them well. 15, 30. Again, in trouble on her serve. Third straight game. Guga Kirtan now serving for the second set against Arazi. Oh! That, uh, talk about lefties with good hands. Hisham Arazi of Morocco. Serena Williams continues to haunt her, only 8 of 25, and that is something last year that Serena was able to dominate with, her second serve. Now, a couple of break points. Emily Luai not able to get to that one to try to convert. This is another chance for her at break point. She lost a lot of weight, Emily Luai, a couple of years ago. Worked a lot harder, and she is more mobile now, a lot more than she used to be. Emily Loa. Serena Williams. 
Williams obviously not at her best. But Loire has not wilted. Thank you. This women's draw now really hangs in the balance. Losing the two-time defending champion last night in the first round. Now Serena eight points away from losing. Slice and dice. Yep. I heard Serena is probably at this point just begging that she hits one round ball square to Thank her. You. But she's not doing that. Oh! That's wide and game point here for Loire. And this, no, sorry. Okay. I was going to say, there could be more pressure on Serena Williams right now than she has felt any time for a couple of years. That's a good point, Penny. Oh. Serena didn't turn number one in the world till after she won Wimbledon over her sister last year. Well, she struggled on every serve game here in the last uh, three and lost her last serve game. She's going to serve to try to get into a tie break now. Mike, let's take a look at those reports next Thursday. And Tom, Susan, set up a meeting on Monday. Any other thoughts? Uh, and she has struggled lately on her own serve. She's taken on Emily Lua of France. She is the number 56 player in the world against Serena at number one. First round, live coverage, women's singles, the Australian Open. Go with one of your favorite serves, the out wide. Go with set plays right now. That That's is hard. not one of them. there, Pam, but it took herself out of her own comfort serve in volley. First time she'd served and volleyed in the match. It's impossible to be comfortable right now, but that's why you want to go with plays that are familiar. Patterns, right. Yeah, this is bread and butter time. Oh. Wills number one trying to avoid the same fate as Wills number three, Jennifer Caprietti, last night going out to Weingarten of Germany, another relative no name. Long. You're watching live coverage from the Rod Laver Arena, the world's number one, struggling in the second set. She lost the first 6 3 to Emily Lua of France. She's down 5 6, but she is game point. Cliff tries to have Hamshrub, America Rillo here. Second chance for Williams. Okay, Williams. Very solid, confident first serve, and a tiebreak will decide the second set.
just what you want. Comfortable winner, first point of a tie break. Incredible 2002, 11 and one. Lost a tie break at the championships. That was it. did not do enough with it. Serena was there, puts it away. Look at this. Nobody's home. And it's three to Williams in the tiebreak. Getting herself to calm down motion with her hands. This is a tough shot for her to dig out as she's moving forward. Because look at all the work that Loise got on it. That's dipping down. Tough one to play, especially if your volley is fairly, fairly cold. Serena was nine at ten at net. She's lost quite a few points recently there. in her heart, but uh, Lua is not showing any panic. Well, that was one of the few just sort of out of the blue unforced errors on a big point that we've seen from Lua. She has played a very savvy, mature match for someone who has really not been in this position before. Four, one, Williams. Trouble winning points on her second serve in this match. Serena would love to get one here. They're sitting up in the high 80s for the most part. Should allow Williams to breathe a little easier. Big lead in the tie break now after six points. The players change ends. Seven is the big number with a two point lead. So Williams is two points away from leveling the match. Serena has led this entire set to love at the very beginning. She just could not pull away. Nothing has been easy in this match. gets one back on Williams's serve, two, five. She's still a mini breakdown in the tie break. a couple of points ago. She really needs this point now. Again, she told herself after that shot, Pam, she put her hand to herself like, calm down. Isn't that hard to do with the adrenaline just rushing through your body, your heart rate's high, even if you don't play a long point. Oh, come Got on. It. Half volley from the baseline. <laughs> On the line. 
And it's 5-4, three straight for the Frenchwoman. And three points away from perhaps the biggest upset in the last 10 years. Uh, that's remarkable timing. This is Emily's last shot. She is giving us a lot to talk about. <laughs> You've missed my stupid puns, haven't you, Pithy? No, I got it. No, huh? All right. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Six four Williams. The relationship between Venus and Serena is just about one of the prettiest things I've ever seen this in is tennis. Set point. Second. Two set points for Serena. Yes, I have missed it. Excuse me. I thought, I thought, uh, I, I mean, I thought you thought I'd missed a few earlier today. Oh. Double oh, fault. And uh, it's 6-5 six, six, on five. serve now. a few points from the match. That sails. And the set goes to Serena Williams, but how close can it get? Tie break to Williams, one set apiece, a third set will decide this first round women's singles match. Let's check in with Chris and Mary Jo. All right, Cliff, thank you. So a double fault on one set point, but she gets the error to get to a third set now. What do you think? I tell you, it couldn't get much closer than that for Serena Williams. I mean, a couple points and she was out of the tournament, but you expect Serena, she's a champion. She has a heart of a champion to fight hard. She raised the level of her game when she needed to, and I think for her, for the third set, she needs that serve to be working for her. She hasn't had a lot of free points, and therefore she's feeling more pressure. She can't f swing freely out there, and that's why she's stressing out, but hopefully now she can relax a little bit more. And what's your suspicion about how Loire will play being so close to pulling off this uh, très grand surprise in her native tongue. Well, Law was a couple points. I think now, you know, she's just going to hope that Serena continues to make a few unforced errors, but I really think now Serena's going to pick it up even another level, and if she can get her serve going, then she's going to roll. Because of the length of this match, we're not going to be able to show you on uh, today's coverage the Leighton Hewitt match against the Swedish veteran Magnus Larsson. That's next on the Rod Laver Arena, but obviously our coverage is not going to prohibit it. You can uh, tune in to tomorrow and see the coverage of that match on tomorrow afternoon. Other matches in the men's draw. We're going to take you to Mal Washington and Jim Courier for an update. Chris out here on Margaret Court Arena. Gustavo Kirten at the bottom of the screen taking on Hisham Arazi. Kierden winning the first set six games to four. It is six all in the second set time break, one all. Just so great to see Gustavo Kierden back on the court at all. Difficult 2002 for him. He had hip surgery shortly after this tournament last year. Stayed out, came back around the clay court season, but was not the same player. Going out in the first round last year to Greg Rosetsky in five sets. from these two players throughout this match. The only problem for Hisham Marazzi is typically Kierton plays this game better. Well, kierton has got a little more firepower. He can close these points out. Marazzi is a beautifully gifted player, really flashy player. But Kierton a little more solid under pressure. Marazzi serving two points all, second set tiebreak. Blown 
showing the hair and the shirt. Gustavo Kierden can't handle that one. And now he'll serve at 2-3. Kierden should point out won the warm-up tournament in Auckland, New Zealand leading into here. So he's coming in hot and you got to remember he's in Leighton Hewitt's section. That's who he would play if he got to the third round and that is a popcorn match. Gustavo Kierden never losing to Hishimarazi. He's a 4-0 record against him. that you see from Kierd, but it doesn't doesn't pay off for him. Players will switch sides at 4-2. Rosley with the mini break. Maybe not the best play on a rebound ace. Well, good point, Mal, because of the rebound ace, the ball does sit up. So drop shots you definitely have to have your opponent well off of the court for them to be effective. And Arazi is a quick player, so not the best of plays by Guga. He gets the crowd into it. Nobody still finds himself up the mini break. Just a little bit of wood on that one, or graphite. <laughs> there it is. Over on Rod Laver Arena, Serena Williams holds serve in the opening game of the third set. Dodged one in that second set tie break, Serena did. looking to swing it out wide and come in behind it. Second serve, 4-3. Uh, came to the net twice in that point. The point just started over. This is what we've missed about not having Gustavo Kirchner around too much. This beautiful tennis. Just a brilliantly played point, both players here. I mean, both of these guys are such good shot makers. Four. So after changing sides at 4-2, Rosley losing two points. And it gets to four all. He got away with that, but it worked. Kierden found himself so far behind the baseline on that pass. Nice shot right deep. here. That was a good deep approach, but Kierden really should have done more with the pass. Well, Kierden serving at 4-5. We're in the second set. Kierden's got the first set in hand, 6-4. Taking a little extra time. 
here at 4 5, needing these points to stay in the second set. Oh, and a foot fault call on an ace. That is painful. is that overhead and now Rossi has two set points. Oh, that footfall call is huge now. But Jim, that overhead might have had something to do with the wind out there. We mentioned a few minutes ago, or you mentioned that it was a little breezy. Get the ball up in the air, maybe move it around on him a bit. <laughs> two set points for Rossi, second serve. in he'll still have one more set point coming on his own serve I like the play though he gambled it was a second serve he tried to unleash with the forehand and didn't quite pay off though see if he can convert on his own serve trying to level this match at one set all Decision making by Arazi, and that's really been his Achilles heel, his career. One of the most talented players out there, but his brain doesn't match that talent. He just will cramp in the brain like that. Set point, serves and volleys and goes for the drop shot. No percentage in that. Guga gives him one right back. Yes, he did. Seven, six. Now the third set point of this set for Hisham Marazi of Morocco. And it's windier on the outside courts, Mal, than in the arenas because of the roof situation. The roof tends to let the, the arenas tend to blow consistently. Outside in the courts, you get a bit of a gust. That one up pretty good, no mistaking that one. He missed his previous overhead. Kirk now saving a third set. Lines it up nicely for an easy put away. Seven points all. over on Laver Arena. On serve, 2-1. And Kierden pumping the fist after he drills a forehand. Look at his first chance at a set point. Give Kierden credit. Down 4-2 in this tiebreak. He's saved three set points, now has his own. I don't want to give him credit, Mel. <laughs> I'll give him credit. I don't want to. off of the surgery is ever going to regain his movement that he had before. A very agile player before. But the hip surgery, that can affect your side-to-side -side movement, being able to push off. Yep. A 
I'd like to see once we get to the red clay court season, leading into the French Open, the French Open, how he's moving then. Well, that's going to be the test. own serve. And Kirtan serving into the wind now. You can tell in these points, once they get into the rally, Arazi on top of the baseline, Kirtan back, because the wind's blowing the ball into Kirtan. Kirtan to work harder. Throughout these points, standing a good you know, eight, ten feet behind the baseline, like you see him do on the clay. Arazi, though, unable to, you know, really force the issue with power. That's not his strength. Good shot maker, but he doesn't have the power to make Kirtan pay for being so far back. Well, and it's tricky with the wind to really be powerful. You have to control the ball. That is not going to do it for Arazi, but Kirtan now two sets in hand. And we're going to take you right back to Serena Williams and Rod Laver Arena. Thanks a lot here in Laver Arena. We're two games all in the third. It's uh, Loire here at Love 30 on Serena Williams' serve. So the drama continues. Now Love 40, three break points for Emily Loire, the French woman, number 56 in the world against Serena Williams. Three Grand Slam titles she holds right now. And she's the top seed, of course. And Loire's the one that, prior to this game, was having trouble on serve in the third set, fighting off break points, nearly dropping serve both her two service games. Serena held to 15, the opening game of this third set. And again to 15 with just a double fault in Serena's second serve. Nothing easy in this entire first round match for the number one player in the world. Oh, that was not a difficult volley from Serena Williams and she netted it. She's broken. That's the first break of the third set. Emily Loire is leading for the two-year serve and we come back live to Label Arena. The persistence of 135 years of experience. The performance that has enabled us to work with more than half the Fortune 500. The strength of one of the largest financial services companies in America. strength of Pacific Life. Hi. I have to get copier laser and inkjet paper sizes A3, A4, toner, printer ink, letter size envelopes, legal envelopes, padded shipping envelopes, memo pads, legal pads, stickies, labels, and pens. Okay. Come right this way. We've got everything all together over here. You've got your ink and toner, paper, laser, inkjet, copier, envelopes, memo pads, files, file, folders, stickies, pens, ballpoints, felt tips, highlighters. We've got it all right here so you can get going fast. Office Depot is the fastest way to restock for the new year with easy to find special sections loaded with the essentials. Office Depot. What you need, what you need to know. The dynamics of this moment are so compelling. 3 2 Emily Lua. She had chances there in the second. She had uh, Serena Williams in trouble on her serve. Then the question becomes can she maintain that kind of composure that has got her to this point in the third set? Well, yes, she has. And she leads 3 2. Thank you. 
unforced errors for Serena Williams in this match. 48. 35 winners. Sergio. Five breaks of serve. And a partridge in a pear tree. Okay, Serena played the Hopman Cup, but that's an exhibition tournament. This is her first real match of the year. Loire, this is her 14th, including doubles. 30 love, Loire, 3 2, third set. Got the break. It's a difficult shot she played. The placement was something because it wasn't a deep one. It was an off one into the mid-court, and that's a tough one to cover. Lois's footwork has gotten so much better the last couple of years. She was so quick to get around that one. its own little drama right now. When you think about what happened last night with Capriati losing on night one, two-time defending champ, somebody who has won the last three majors, hasn't lost a major since the U.S. Open 2001, the finals to Venus. And Lois, biggest win of her career in a major is Conchita Martinez. Here at the Australian. This is break point for Williams. <laughs> that was too long, and the break goes back to Williams. We're back on serve. It's three apiece in the third set. And Two seven in the third. It's one set all. He and Ramon Sluter, the Dutchman. <laughs> Watching live coverage of the Australian Open Day Two first round women's singles match. The NBA tonight coming up immediately following our coverage of this women's singles match featuring the world's top player, Serena Williams. Sergio. Who is being played even right now. And at three games all, Serena Williams leading 30 love, third setting. Serena, if you keep going to the Loire forehand, it's, it's looking a, a little wonky in these last couple of games. She's not leaning in on it the way she has been. Seems yeah. as though Serena knows it. Yeah. Tell you, the forehand has been such a great weapon throughout. It's the first time that it started to break down, and this is when shots do break down. Deep in a third set. There's a little anger on that fault return.
Well, that's much more authoritative, isn't it, from Serena Williams as she has won the last two games. She's in front. We're on serve in the third. Hi. I have to get copier, laser, and chip paper sizes, A3, A4, toner, printer, ink, letter size envelopes, legal envelopes, padded shipping envelopes, memo pads, legal pads, stickies, labels, and pens. Okay. Come right this way. We've got everything all together over here. You've got your ink and toner, paper, laser, ink, jet, copier, envelopes, memo pads, files, file, folders, stickies, pens, ballpoints, felt tips, highlighters. We've got it all right here so you can get going fast. Office Depot is the fastest way to restock for the new year with easy-to-find special sections loaded with the essentials. Office Depot. What you need, what you need to know. Pittsburgh Steeler Jerome Bettis and his mom serve Garrett Hill Campbell's Chunky Chicken Noodle. Loaded with more wholesome chicken than before. Filled up right by a great bowl, Garrett went on to bowl great. The Pacific life between the lines shows you some of the damage that the Emily Loire forehand has done throughout this match. That's the off forehand winner. It's been the most popular shot. This one setting up another forehand down the line. Serena farther behind the baseline than normal because of the aggression of the French woman. However, that forehand has started to give her some problems for the first time. Pretty well balanced winners in each of the sets. 4-3 Williams leads in the third set. 15 left to Lua. First bright sunshine of the day. And for a lefty up that side, exactly. that's no fun. Another forehand betrays her. She's catching some of these late. That's why they're flying wide. Good. I, that was a shank, too. Yeah, maybe. it was a mishit lob. But the minute that Serena saw it, she knew she was in trouble. And I just sense that on that kind of approach shot, Lua's going to win 7 out of 10. See how she framed it, though? Yeah. Rattled around her, uh, her racket a bit. Serena trying to smile it off. Wow, that's the best forehand in a few games from Lua. You know, when the forehand starts to go after they've been on the court in such a tense match for almost two hours, you wonder, is it nerves? Is it being tired? Is it a combination of both? Because when you get tired, your timing goes, your coordination goes a little bit. Wow. So the drama continues. It's four apiece, remember? This tournament, the first slam of the year, lost its star, one of its stars last night, Jennifer Capriati, who is the defender. In fact, she's won it the last two years in a huge surprise to Marlena Weingartner. NBA Tonight coming up next year on ESPN2. We're live down under, four games all, one set apiece. Safin has won the third set, so it's two sets to one. It's on Vodafone. And Arazi has won the first game of the third. Great tie break, by the way, in the second there with Kirtan and Arazi. Kirtan up two sets to none. That's one noisy match out there with Kirtan and Arazi. Sounds like two wounded grizzlies fighting over a picnic basket out there. Oh, yeah. 
Serena has started to do more damage with her second serve, winning the last two points on the second delivery by far in this third set. She's just got to play clean, logical tennis at this point, Pam, and then get off the court. Most successful set she's had on the second serve, and she has to do another one here. Vince Spadia and Yiri Novak split the first two sets. 40 love. Oh, oh, yes. So good. 5 4 now in the third set. Serena Williams trying to make it four grand slams in a row. Emily Lua has other ideas. She'll serve the third when we come back. Hey, America, you think your family's funny? We found eight families who believe their lives are funny enough to be a sitcom. The competition is fierce in this crazy family feud, but only one household will win the chance to fly to Hollywood and star in their very own sitcom. My Life is a Sitcom premieres January 20th at 8, 7 central on ABC Family Channel. Brought to you by the Norm Reef Supergroup in Temecula. Bring us any ad and let us show you what we can do on your next car. Super Bowl is coming to San Diego, and so is your ticket to football fun. America Online presents the NFL Experience, Pro Football's interactive theme park with more than 50 games, exhibits, and attractions for all fans. Field of punts, or dive into the end zone for the winning score. And best of all, it's located next to the convention center on San Diego's beautiful waterfront. Come lead a player, get free autographs, daily tickets just $15 for adults, 10 bucks for kids under 12. America Online presents the NFL Experience, opening January 18th. Call 866-TIX4NFL or log on to SuperBowl.com. Two of our live coverage of the Australian Open. A warm welcome back to you, everyone. It is Serena Williams who is leading in the third 5-4, but we're on serve. Oh. NBA tonight coming up next here on ESPN2. Oh. We say it all the time. Deep in a third set, you don't want to be serving second. This is when the pressure really hits home. Serving to stay in the match. Starting with a double for fourth. if she gets one she likes. Very crisp, 15, if risky. 15-30. Points for the world's number one. 15 40. Take a 
little respite from the sun which just came out about uh, 20 minutes ago she's got another match point Percentage play, a drop shot effort there by the left hander underneath that ball, and Serena Williams, as quick as she is, was not even Dude. close. That is disbelief on the face of Serena. Wow. How dare you try that? Yeah, this one we'll remember for a while. This delirious Daffy drop shot from behind the baseline that ends the rally in Loire's favor. Coming up with the goods like that on match point is, uh, is something special. Well, it's support for Loire, too. Most of the people in this stadium, family have never even heard of Emily Loire. Now they're screaming her name. Oh. Remember, that happened years ago. Pete Sampras struggling and eventually losing against Jaime Izaga. I mean, how many people knew who he was? And just before match point, I'm sitting with Vitas Garolitis, Pete's best friend, and someone yells at you the man, Jaime. Look, <laughs> Davidis said, you the man, Jaime? This magic moment is being watched by thousands outside as well. This is live coverage of, uh, of the match on Laver Arena on that big screen TV. And as you can see, literally thousands watching it. It's been become very popular at all the majors, the big screen. Wimbledon does a great job as does the U.S. Open now. Hammond Hill. Gives people with grounds passes the ability to enjoy live action on the big courts just like this. Game point, Serena. Third set. She had two match points in the last game. Loa was the braver of the two, hitting winning shots. Statement as she now leads 6 5. 
There's a tie break in the second set. Are we headed for one in the third? Just tasted new Sam Adams Light, the first great tasting light beer. Shockingly great taste. Pittsburgh Steeler Jerome Bettis and his mom served Garrett Hill Campbell's Chunky Chicken Noodle. Loaded with more wholesome chicken than before. Filled upright by a great bowl, Garrett went on to bowl great. ESPN 2's exclusive presentation of the Australian Open 2003 is brought to you by UPS. What can Brown do for you? And Pacific Life. Annuities, insurance and investments. Rely on the strength of Pacific Life. One thing I can guarantee you, and that is that it will not go to a tiebreak in the third set because there are no tiebreaks in the third set. Any slam would accept the US Open. So 6-5 to Serena Williams, Emily Loire, the French woman serving here to level the match. Oh! The last time Serena went this deep in a third set at a major was the 2001 U.S. Open quarterfinal against Davenport, 6-3, 6-7. 7-5. could see a very similar score here. <laughs> Serena, Serena shaking out her right knee after... Boy, does she want it to end right here. She's going to need a lot of ice treatment on her knees after this. Venus last year in her second round that limped through her match because of sudden knee tendonitis. These courts have never fitted them right. 15-30, now two points away again. She had two match points. Lost serve game of Loire. tonight coming up immediately following our live coverage from Melbourne Australia this first round women's singles match Serena Williams Emily Loire 30 all 6-5 Williams third set all match long the second serve from Loire has caused problems 60% of the time, Loire has won points on her second serve. Serena usually has her opponents down around 30%. Pam, okay. that was a 72 mile an hour serve for Serena to put away with a lot of spin. Game point, Loire. Second serve. and it's good. <laughs> Deuce. Fortunately for Serena, this was great. I'm not sure she could have got to that one anyway. Way inside. And oh. Serena's got a match point again. Her third.
for Serena Williams, who exulted at match point as though she just won the title. Tremendous effort for this woman who did not play well today, but competed magnificently. Well, Serena won three majors last year and did not have to win that hard, play that hard in any of those wins, even in the finals. 55 unforced errors from Serena Williams, 42 winners. Not the cleanest of matches, but I will say that Emily Loire was very solid, very composed throughout the match and made Serena Williams earn the win. Els Callens played a great match against Serena Williams at Wimbledon. It was 7-6, 7-6, so Serena's going to have respect that next round.